So if you watch my previous video, Carmen and Corey did respond to the chef that accused them of doing bad business. Why you keep saying SSG? Because SSG, SSG. Oh, I forgot. You been wanting to cook for us, so you're so oh, excited. I've been trying to cook for y'all my whole life. Well, the chef is dropping a lot of receipts to prove that they did her wrong, she says. All right, y'all. So this is my last time addressing this. Um, I'm not going to respond after this, but they did go live mocking me and basically saying I was lying. So first thing I want to say is uh, when I was hired, I was hired on as their chef, and I was not on a the trial. They started mentioning that I was on a trial once payment, once I was at, kept asking for my money. Then all of a sudden, I was on trial. And they also tried to blame my excitement on why I didn't get paid, because I was excited when I got the job, when they said I was their personal chef, and that I was going to be their personal chef. Who wouldn't be excited when they get their dream job of being a personal chef full time? And something else I want to mention, if I was on trial, why was I getting put on payroll? I mean, it or something, but see, what happened was, when you first came, I had control over how you was going to get paid or how I was going to be paying you because I'm the one who brought you into the, the table, basically, you know what I'm saying? But then, um, Corey started talking about payouts and having people on payroll type stuff, and that's when Lay was putting people on payroll, and the name your name was to be payroll but then when remember when you had asked me i told you i said x late but then when you came back to me it was like they said oh no i don't know nothing about that because i didn't know i was supposed to be doing it or never confirmed it this and the third so it was like a all going back and forth more than one or two people and that's what shit got confusing because i'm like well i don't know what to do and then i don't know like exactly how to do it because if i was to do it then i might be that i might be on that on my own you know what i'm saying like i would take care of you on my own but at the same time i don't know if you should be on payroll or not or just pay you for for every time that you come and i have talked to court about it court was like yeah tell her she would get paid every two weeks but it was never clarity on how you was going to be paid or how much you will be getting paid or what you're going to be paid. That was a lie because you can see my, how much my pay was and you see he agreed to it but then he tried to say it was after the trial because they did not want to pay me pay for it if that makes sense so like after you get your payment today i'm a matter of fact look after you get paid today i'm gonna i'm the i, I will be the one to charge for your payment like every boy I don't know. I got to see what makes sense every two weeks or have you on a payroll for monthly. Which one we prefer every two weeks or like pay you like every month. And then we can just really go from there so we be on the same page, you know, because like, shit, I got to know it too just by like trying to go back and forth, trying to figure it out um, the payroll. Because I understand like you got bills to pay just like we all got bills to pay. And it's frustrating when you're depending on someone to pay and then you're not having like a full understanding on what's going on and the only reason why you haven't been coming to cook is because Cora mom has been coming back and forth because she's moving here she finally moved here so she has been like cooking for us and, stuff, and then we have been out of town and shit so that's the only reason why you haven't been like coming and cook because it would be like kind of waste of time and kind of, like you know waste of food type of shit so if i was on trial why was i getting put on payroll and she kept saying I was gonna get paid every two weeks. So that's what that was the agreement. We was gonna get paid every two I was gonna get paid every two weeks along with everybody else they so called supposed to be paying. Yes, I did quit my full time job because I was working with them full time. These are some of the days I was working with them. Meal prep, sixteen meals, sixteen meals, dinner, dinner, like I was working for them. I couldn't work no full time job and work for them full time. I was working for them four days out of the week and I was off three. Every time I cook for them, I cook what they wanted me to cook. We literally taste every single day of everything they wanted me to cook for them. Here's some more screenshots. Y'all can read them and do whatever y'all want with them. I don't care. But so basically, um, remember I told y'all that I was supposed to come back, start back working with them in February, right? Because January, the whole January, she said they was doing stuff. They was going through stuff. So I wasn't working uh, in January. I was supposed to start back in February. So she was basically saying on the 18th that um she thinks she should have to pay me because she was paying for the food and i'm like what you never paid for the services we never agreed on that because we had a set amount of money that i was supposed to be getting paid monthly this is another screenshot of basically her making another excuse on um, just stalling not to pay me here's another excuse me 
texting her and this is what she texted me back when I'm trying to get paid. This is what she texted back. Yeah, I can screenshot it and read it. Okay, I text her again and this is what she said. And this is once I received that $600 payment. Y'all can read what it say. Um, she basically made so many excuses on why I only posting got paid $600 because I was on so-called trial. A person that's on trial, why are y'all trying to add a person on trial to payroll? Why? Makes no sense. And they want to start a meal, a SSG meal prep business. Here's the proof. So y'all remember when I said I reached out and I got CEO's number because I didn't have it no more. I re and this proves how bad the communication was with them because he sit here and say he didn't know what I was. He was waiting on me. But the whole time she told me not to come the whole month of Jerry because they was going through stuff. So this proves how bad the communication was. Reached out, he eventually... Um, I eventually talked to him and I was letting him know that I haven't got paid. I've been working for him for a month. He like, no, nah, that's crazy or whatever. Da, da, da. He like, he couldn't believe it or whatever. So um, I told him she only paid me for the food that they was cooking. But mind you, on, on all these text messages, she's saying like she communicated with him and all that other stuff. But this is when he texts me. Um, this is when he had texted me. Um, and then once he texted me this, he was like, I was on trial. And he, oh, by the way, this is for me, Wraith. They was calling me Wraith. I don't know how they got Wraith from Ray the Chef. I guess it just looked it mixed together. I'm not sure. But they was calling me Wraith. That was not my name. My name was Wraith. <laughs> so, big red flag. But, yeah, he tried to say I tried to play him because she only paid me for the food. She never paid for the services. And I don't remember if y'all remember me talking about the pricing on the other video. But we definitely went over the pricing. They just tried to play me all around like I was just lying and that I was still on trial. I was cook I cooked for them like 15 times. You mean to tell me that whole 15 times I was in trial? They just tried to make up every excuse not to pay me. This proves how bad the communication was so messed up with the whole situation because this is him texting me this. Y'all can screenshot it and read it. Yeah. I was just clearing my name up. I was not trying to be messy, even when I did the story time, or now I'm not trying to be messy. I have no reason to lie. I was like, seriously didn't even want to cook no more after this situation because it scarred me so bad because they tried to play me so bad about the whole situation. Like I was lying. I was never lying. I have no reason to lie. So after all of that, um, all that happening, I did get paid like a week later. It took long enough. It that's what happened. It was crazy. It was a crazy situation. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm grateful for it. Um, it was just a lesson learned. I learned my lesson. Um, I will never be lacking like that ever again. But yes, I appreciate the opportunity. So CJ So Cool posts a picture of his daughter Cordelia with a mark on her eye with the caption that says, I don't want to ever hear anything about how I raised my children. This should be unacceptable coming from a seasoned mother. Then he did a poll. This was way too close to her eyeball. Then Rossi responded back. She said, you lame ass materialistic cloud chaser chick CJ So Cool. Let's not talk about seasonal parenting because when you call me with her eyes swollen shut, your crybaby didn't even know what to do but call me not once but twice then she said i would the pictures but i'm not that desperate y'all fill in the blank down below but let's talk about rico who was accused by ig model for stealing and he did respond damon arnett little football player that played for the raiders that got kicked off trying to shoot someone or something oh yeah yeah when well, i went to the bathroom stole my bust down cartier watch took my other phone and zelled them all my money Whoa. out of my account i have it all on camera him and his friends leaving my house come to find out he does that to and the did it to me broke you that yeah. hard up on some cash and love to everybody peace and love you feel me if those stories you gonna go with it run with it oh huh, man my story don't matter my side don't matter i'm focused on too much positivity going on for me to entertain bullshit with bullshit you know just figure out a better way to deal with Suave next time. Feel me? I either don't deal with Suave. No more Suave's for nobody. Feel me? Don't deal with me. Don't nobody deal with me. Don't deal with me. Now, if you watch my previous video, Lauren said that she was getting a job. Joelle is a deadbeat. She's not with Joelle. She moved. So during that time she was saying all of that, according to Asia, Joelle was with her. So now, according to Asia, Joelle is back with Lauren. I done said in previous videos that they should be sister wives. You already know what he doing. Y'all swapping him back and forth, live in the same house. It's so much stuff that could get done when two people live in the same house. Here's what Asia had to say. 
I don't know because a lot of people were telling me she was on live talking about me talking about um homeless, homeless dad, this this that he with me, we together. We was, but you got him back, so shut up, just shut up. I, I gave him back so you can shut up, shut up. But quit speaking on me. What you gotta go live and speak on me for? Cause you wasn't getting the attention you wanted. Oh, okay, I see you over there playing daddy now, posting them kids. I know that's right. Go post them, baby. You got them back now. Now shut up. Don't speak on me no more. Don't say shit else about Asia because Asia don't give a f no more. I don't care. Bitch, you don't know me. Like, you don't know me. Just wait till I see you, though. Then I want to see you say that to my face. I can show you better than I can tell you, Lauren. Last time I checked, you would have been on the street if you didn't pay your your bills or just rent this month. But you want a new No, baby, you need him. You can't find a new You know that. That's why you're so quiet, because he there now, playing Papa. People be so quick. He don't post your kids. He don't do that. He don't do that. Oh, he's not allowed to post my kids. They don't need to be showing fake love for social media. Oh, because he going to play love in their face, but you don't have to because I'm going to do that 100%. I don't need him. You do. Go no lie talking shit, baby. He tells me all your tea. Hell, he probably even tell you mine. We just know. We just know. We know. Bitch, you would have been on the streets with yours if you would have. If you didn't pay your rent this month, so that's why you got off live and stopped talking about you. He's gonna find you a new husband. You're gonna find you a new man. Yeah, shut up. You need that boy. That's why he back over there. He back over there. Baby, trust me, believe me. Would have been back over there if I didn't go off on him, though. No. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. If I was, if I would have kissed his ass the other day, oh, trust me, believe he would have been still up this ass. Like, come on. Let's let's really let's get into it. Just to believe I was comforting him yesterday. But once I seen you doing it, I let you do that, baby. And when I got quiet, he got in his feelings. That's why he's back over there. I'm not gonna let you play both sides and think you finna get comfort from me and then from her. No, don't lay up under her. Get the fuck on. Oh, but let me let me say I'ma find me a new Let me follow a new gonna swear. Why are you following him, Angel? Cause he fine as f that's why I'm following him. Makes sense. The same shit she get on live and say I do, she do. But her excuse is she's the wife. I don't give a f You're doing it. Why the f you talking about what he do for me and mine? Mind your business and keep my kids out of your mouth. Since you really broke. Who got the money? Joel got the money. Somebody said they well now he do. Somebody said he said he wasn't even getting a divorce. That's what I'm saying. Like this, he tells me, "Oh, I'm getting a divorce next month. It's just gonna take 30 days. Please wait on me. Please wait on me, Asia. Please do this. Let me get on Instagram. Let me follow me. I don't want to fucking them. Well, I can't see you with no one else. Oh, you gonna have to. You gonna have to." Dear fans was coming for Quee after she posted her recent get ready with me TikTok which made Quee upset. So she responded to a few comments. Someone said, "I'm mad you got gold in your bathroom like Diara." I don't give a f if your mammy had gold in her bathroom. Like, why the f y'all keep coming to my TikTok worrying about what's in my house? Did you buy the gold that's in my bathroom? Hmm? Hmm? I don't think so. I really think y'all should start minding y'all own motherfucking business because what's in my house shouldn't have nothing to do with you or her. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all so bothered about materialistic shit. I never seen females so bothered about materialistic shit. Until I got on this app. Like, y'all mad about a damn house. Y'all mad about decorations that they sell. I'm gonna Amazon in the goddamn stoves. Like, what the f y'all want me to do? Go stay in a fucking cardboard box? I just don't understand. It's TikTok. La 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 la. You got the decor. Bitch, fuck you and the motherfucking decorations. This is my motherfucking house. Me and my man pay the bills here. You don't, so I can decorate it how I want it. And I can put what the fuck I want in here. Don't nobody pay the bills in this motherfucker but me and Kent. Y'all should really start minding y'all business, but y'all get cussed the fuck out. Cause I'm tired. I'm fed up. Someone else said, what happened to the accent, boo? You want to be her so bad. Realistic date in my life, y'all. First, I woke up, brushed my teeth because y'all can't go nowhere with a f***ing breath. Wash my face. Gotta keep the face clean. Of and bitch, f*** you too. Y'all swear everywhere gonna have an accent. And that's for all the other f***s that keep coming on here. Talking about, oh, where the accent? Where the fake little accent? Y'all hear? Oh, I don't hear it no more. Like, what? Yeah, word ain't even gonna be my ex and y'all just get on my nerves with that right there. Someone else said, I think they want you to stop copying what Diara do or did, but you and Ken live y'all life. And let me tell you this, I ain't gotta copy no motherfucking body. 
I'm gonna do what the fuck I wanna do. I don't give a fuck what nobody else got going on. I'm too motherfucking old to be trying to copy somebody. Bitch, I'm 27 years old. Fuck, I look like copying somebody. All you bitch is talking about I'm copying somebody delusional as fuck. All these other females out here doing the same shit. But when Queen Motherfucker Renee do it, it's a problem. Bitch, I can't dress up. Bitch, I can't drive a Tesla. Bitch, I can't stay in an apartment where other people stay at. I can't even motherfucker get my nails done. Can't even walk. Can't even talk. Can't even drink out of a motherfucking glass cup. Can't even have black and white, black, gold, however you want to do it in my motherfucking house. You was missing. That's what it's giving. And guess what? Me and Ken, we gonna continue to live our best motherfucking life. And if you don't like it, get the fuck on.